Hey, I heard you got a new best friend. Yeah, it hurts a bit. I won't pretend that it doesn't matter that you're with someone. Hey everyone, my name is Sophie from Sophisticated Organization. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Sophisticated Saturday where together we work through my to-do list and get things done around the house. I wanted to start off in the kitchen as I do so many Saturdays getting a recipe done. I like to do this because cooking is a passion of mine. I genuinely enjoy it, whether it is baking just for pleasure or even meal prepping. I just find a lot of peace in the kitchen and that is where I enjoy spending my time. As you might know, I oftentimes will have my iPad set up and I'm listening more so to a TV show in the background or a podcast or music, but I love to have this as a little bit of me time. And today, Jim gave me part of the day off and took Owen with him. He actually dropped Owen off with his parents while he went to golf for a little bit. So I was baking for fun today and wanted to surprise him when he got home with some browned buttered snickerdoodle cookies. I will leave on the screen all of the ingredients that I am using and if I can find the recipe online, I will make sure to link that in the description box below as well. These were pretty simple to make and turned out delicious. The browned butter really gave the snickerdoodle a nice full flavor. So I didn't have a purpose to bake these cookies, but Jim and I both love a sweet treat every now and then. So I thought I would whip these up while I had the house to myself for a bit. The dough needed to be covered and refrigerated for a while, so I covered that and refrigerated it while I made the sugar that's gonna go on the outside of the snickerdoodles. It's just sugar and cinnamon mixed together and thought I would prep that while I had a second. While the dough chills in the refrigerator, I am going to do a little bit of a deeper clean in the kitchen because I'm not planning on doing anything else in the kitchen. And that's always a good time to give it a clean since I'm not cooking tonight. I am going to clean the stove top and these back countertops because I'm for sure done using those and taking the grates off of the stove top and just getting in all of the nooks and crannies there with a microfiber cloth and some multi-surface cleaner. Also took this opportunity to clean up the outside a tiny bit. We have been enjoying this patio so much. It is covered. It has a fireplace, but for some reason our fireplace isn't working right now, so we need to figure that out. But it has been really enjoyable this summer. You can tell today I have a little sweatshirt on, so it was a little bit of a cooler day, but Owen is really liking playing out there with his toys and his water table, and I wanted to pick that up quickly again while he wasn't home. And then once I popped back inside, I'm gonna sit down, relax, and do some meal planning. And was gonna do some meal planning, not just for the next few days, but for a little bit further in advance. My menu board, I on purpose have a lot of space there, so more than a week's worth of meals. That way I can list out a bunch of ideas. And I don't typically assign a day of the week to the meals that I'm planning. I just list them out in a row. And then when I go to the grocery store, I cook my meals based on the ingredients that I get. I sometimes have in my head an idea of the order of how things are gonna work based on the ingredients that are included. For example, if there's something with 
carrots. That's much hardier than tomatoes. Tomatoes are gonna go bad faster than carrots are. So if I have a recipe that has ingredients that are going to spoil faster, then I will do those first. And then if I have one that is going to spoil later, I will do that later. But sometimes the expiration dates of items that you get at the grocery store throw you for a loop. So that's why I like to just list it out and play it by ear. And here is a quick look at the final menu plan. With me. My parents gave me a call so you can tell I have my phone there and I'm talking to my parents on speakerphone, just catching up with them and going to do a quick Cricut project because Owen has started daycare. If you haven't been following along for that journey, he has been at home with me with a nanny since he was three months old. And now that he's almost 18 months old, he's getting close to one and a half. I think he's now ready for daycare. We're really excited about the move just because we have been on a waiting list for the place that he got into daycare. And I think it's just gonna be a good move for both of us. And I have a lot of stuff that I have to get ready before he starts daycare. We had to get him a backpack, lunch boxes. He needs everything labeled, all of his clothing. If he brings like an extra jacket, we have to bring sunscreen and diapers and cups for milk and water and just so many things on this packing list. So I was also using today to try and get his bag packed for him. And of course, since I'm me, instead of just writing on the back of his lunchbox with a Sharpie or a permanent marker, I am going to make some Cricut labels and vinyl labels to match a few of his items. Yeah, let's go. I also had a couple of label orders, you'll see I did those as well with the black final. But once I weeded everything out, it was time to put Owen's label on his lunchbox. And I'm so happy with how it turned out. It is so cute. I ended up ordering a second lunchbox and I'm gonna do the same thing. Use a color that's on the outside rim of it to match to the label because it is a different color. It's a darker green and navy color. Finally, the dough has chilled. You'll see exactly what I was talking about before. My iPad is following me along. I am watching TV while I roll out the dough and I'm making these cookies nice and big because sometimes I love when they're a little bit bigger and they have some more space to get all soft and chewy in the inside. With the cookies in the oven, I went upstairs to clean up my bathroom, do a deep clean of my bathtub. So I'm filling it up with water right now, some hot water while I clean off my countertop and then go into my bedroom because there was a big mess over by the dresser. Just my pajamas that I had thrown on the ground, jeans that I wore yesterday, lots of things that need to be put either away or be put into the laundry. Now that the tub is full just over the jets, I'm using this Oh Yuck solution. I've shared this before, but it is great for cleaning out a tub if you have jets. You just pour in the amount that the bottle indicates. I think that you can use it four times and let the jets run and the Oh Yuck work its magic. Cookie timer went off, so I grabbed those out of the oven, put another tray of cookies in the oven, and then back upstairs to keep cleaning off the countertop area, both my side and Jim's side. I'm doing the mirrors and the countertop and trying to give everything a nice refresh while that tub continues to clean itself. 
I had set another timer for the bathtub and you can see how absolutely gross this stuff is, how much it collects. So I am draining the tub. This stuff you don't want to touch your skin so I try and be really careful with it. I am trying to drain the tub and clean it as it goes because it does create a little bit of a film there. Since the water's at the same level for so long and it's getting up all of that gunk and debris out of the jets and the rest of your bathtub. So I'm trying to scrub it and clean it as I go and using that little pourer that we use for Owen's bath time so I need to make sure that's cleaned off as well but I'm trying to just put fresh water in it and then anything that's touching the gross oh yuck solution I am using gloves and my cleaning tool for our lines cross we're wasting time before I give the tub a complete rinse, I noticed that there was a little bit of lime scale. So I grabbed lime away, I tried using that. I'm also gonna try soaking the faucet with some vinegar. It's helpful if you pour the vinegar into the Ziploc bag first, use like a hair tie or a rubber band, and you should have like a 50-50 solution of vinegar and water. So I just added the water after I attached it to the faucet. Maybe you don't want Since that needs to sit on the faucet for a bit and the second batch of cookies are still in the oven, you can see I have the first batch sitting on a plate there. I'm gonna take this time and empty the dishwasher, which had been finished earlier today, and get that unloaded. Wrapping up the day, the second batch of cookies was almost done, so I was gonna pull those out, hop upstairs one last time, take the Ziploc bag off of the faucet, clean that off with a toothbrush as best I could, and then relax for the rest of the time before Jim and Owen get home. So I hope you enjoyed this sophisticated Saturday. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and until next time, I will see you guys later.